In this week's Pass the PE Exam video, we'll calculate the axial load on a temporary wall. Through a step-by-step -step approach, we'll walk you through this practice problem, providing clear explanations and demonstrating the necessary calcs needed to help you in your PE exam preparation. This question was created and solved by Enrique Ivers, an engineer in training, and is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem-solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. Here we're shown a temporary wall that is subjected to a wind load of 30 pounds per square foot and it's prevented from overturning by diagonal braces that are spaced at six feet on center along the length of the wall and this is shown in the figure to the right. So the connection at the base of the wall at point A is equivalent to a hinge. So this is a hinge connection uh, if you go back to your statics class, right? So ignoring the weight of the form, we're asked the axial force in pounds resisted by the brace, and we're giving a couple of options, and it's hinted that we're going to have to round a little bit because we're asked what is most nearly either A, 1,440 pounds, B, 2,520 pounds, C, 2,940 pounds, and D, 3,120 pounds. We should first consider the width of the wall that each brace supports, and we're told that the braces are six feet on center. So the maximum width that each brace will support is six feet, and that's the sum of three feet on either side. We can then calculate the resultant wind force per vertical foot of wall from the six feet of width. So W equals 30 pounds per square foot times six feet, and this gives us 180 pounds per foot that is per vertical foot at each brace location. We can now model this as a moment problem as we treat the uniformly distributed load as a point load mid-height. So the sum of the moments about point A is going to be zero because we know the, the wall is static, it's not moving. And this first load, the, the wind load, is 180 pounds per vertical foot. We multiply this by 14 feet and then 14 feet divided by 2 because we need to find this at the midpoint of the wall, less the 8 feet times the reaction force R sub x. And this is 8 feet because that's where the brace attaches to the wall. Solving for R sub x, we find that it equals 2,205 pounds. Now we need to calculate the axial load, so we have to take into account the angle of the brace. We do this by dividing the resultant force by cosine of the angle. So the axial load equals R sub x divided by cosine of 45. Now you might be asking, how do we know that the angle is 45 degrees? Well, both legs of the triangle are equal. When you have equal legs for the triangle, the angle is 45 degrees. If the legs were uh, different lengths, we would have to go through and calculate the, uh, the angle. In this case, we calculate the load to be 3,118.3 pounds. We can round this to 3,120 pounds, and looking at our potential answers, we see that this is answer D, the correct answer. I hope you enjoyed the video for today. In upcoming videos, we will solve some more practice problems to help you pass the PE exam. We'll also provide some tips and tricks that you can use to maximize your time in the exam. And please, leave your questions and comments below this video. I will read and respond to them in future videos. And remember, subscribe to our channel here because our videos can help you to make a substantial difference in your PE exam results. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE Exam.